Hey, hey guys, it's me again. And as a last stream for Arcadia before I leave for Cyrene, I decided I'm gonna show you guys again the best sweating spot for sweat circles. And this is usually where it is. If there's nobody around, just type in the art, art chat and art, art, art trade chats that you're starting a sweat circle and usually pretty soon people start arriving so I'm going to just send that message out again I think people are still on holiday mode <laughs> um, let's see oh I should probably show you guys the location so as you can see, I'm gonna zoom out a bit for you guys. Here in the corner, it's Celeste Quarry, and then those little shops areas. And then when you get here, it's called Celeste Outpost. If you don't have it, fly to here where you can see on my screen. Ah, here we go. So now you can see I zoomed in a bit. There you can see it's not that far. I did make a video about this one, the Relentless Firebase Academy, where you can get the Alex and the Zatu and whatnot. But be warned, these Nusul here, they hit hard. So if you're a brand new player, you probably want to avoid this place if there's nothing going on. Uh, if there is, however, sweat circles running, then you should definitely come come here and sweat with the people. You'll get lots of good skills as well as lots of good sweat. Oh hey, on the bright side, if nobody shows up for a while and I finish sweat sweating this level 4 Nusul Mature, then I will exactly be able to tell you how much vibrant sweat you get out of it. <laughs> And let's just see, uh, now I open the inventory again. Let's see, where would I get that skin? What? This was kind of... Sweat gatherer. I'm a level 11 sweat gatherer. God only knows where I got the patience to get to this level and I don't know if I should feel sorry or envious of people with way high level levels, higher levels than this, but it's definitely one of those two. <laughs> I just don't really have the patience to sit and do this all day anymore. But as a new player, especially on Arcadia, you want to be sweating because sweat does have value and it is one of the free ways of making money in Entropia.
Maybe I'm too early for these people. Maybe they are still at work or something. I've never really known Entropia players to take holidays. Even when on holiday, they grind. <laughs> I, I, um, the reason I'm sweating with armor on is because these missiles can can hurt. It's once once there's a little more people here, <laughs> then I'll take the armor off for sure. I'm just waiting for them to get get back from holiday, I guess. <laughs> There we go. First other one. Hello. <laughs> well, at least someone else came now so I can start taking off my armor. <laughs> There we go, some of the armor gone. Yeah, at the moment I just have this one ugly ring. It's not the expensive one, I would love to have that one. But it's also not limited, so I can just repair it every time. And I have to say, it actually lasts very, very long. 
So this ring gives you increased regeneration by 30% and increased health by 12 points. Which I mean is not bad. I would love a ring that gives you like 60% increased regeneration or 100% maybe, if it even exists. Uh, no, this is not the mentor armor. This is the viceroy armor. You have to grind the the mission. I think it's from Bull that you get the mission from to get the viceroy armor. I actually think it's safe to take off the armor completely, though. There we go. Some funny looking outfit. <laughs> oh, I forgot my mask. There we go. That looks better. Ah, okay, you meant the ring. I thought you meant the armor. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> okay, that's actually something I didn't know. So, I actually don't know how to pronounce your name. So, this person in my chats just told me that those limited rings only take damage when you equip them or unequip equip them. So, if you never take them off, they never break. <laughs> Let's see, let's post the message again, get some more people here, I need to heal. I'm actually gonna be here a while. I'm waiting for one of my friends to log on because I'm actually gonna be heading to Cyrene for the next uh, chapter in my 2022 beginner's guide for new Entropia players. Um, I wouldn't say that I'm a pro at all, but I, I have learned qu quite a bit about the game and since I always see new people struggling, I decided to start making this series of videos for new players. Yes, Cyrene for the dailies, uh, the puny grinds, as well as maybe the heart mission. I never actually did it, so I'll have to go and check where you get it and wh what the specifications are for the first few levels. But yes, that's along the lines that I was thinking.
Also, me and my friends used to go to Cyrene to sweat the rhino beetles. And I always used to swant the panaleons. Panale panale <laughs> I never had to know how to say it correctly. Um, also, they have such great things there. I mean, the panaleons gives you animal looter, those fishy looking creatures daily thing is also for mutant looter and then they also have the daily on the robot looter so yeah there's quite a bit for people to grind depending on what they want to do their blueprints are also awesome i love their armors armor sets that you get that side um and also mining mining that planet is really really great for mining um it's not that well of a known planet, so chances are much higher, I guess, of, of landing the big drops. Yeah, same year. I actually ended up not being able to play for quite some time, and then just after I started again, I started making these videos. So it's almost like a, a all from all from remembering slash <laughs> explaining something that I forgot and then remembering at the same time. <laughs> Let's see. Well guys, I've got to say, this little level 4 Nusul has given quite a bit of sweat so far. I mean, I'm already standing on 147 and I don't even know how much sweat that other guy got. <laughs> yeah, actually next island I, I did quite like them as well. I haven't gone to get that new armor set of theirs and I'm really looking forward to going to do it. I just need to figure out as well where to go and what the requirements are, but I'm probably going to be streaming it. Um, what else? Um, I, I love doing that, those little piggies. What do you, what's, do you know that spawn area for the, for the warthogs or whatever you want to call them? I love doing that. I almost always global on them. <laughs> yeah, they aren't too great for solo. Uh, luckily, I've got a bit of decent concentration and and also decent dodge and evade skills. Yeah, those mountain bombs. You nailed it on there. I used to love going that spawn zone for them. Three times spawn. <laughs> Is that now the, these new souls? <laughs> In time, of course. Hey, we got another friend. <laughs> on next island nice guys so something that I didn't know as well, uh, well I was just told that if you've got the ugly ring adjusted then you can sweat the sweat the 
What are they called again? The mountain boars. You can solo sweat them without... Well, probably in time you would still need to get your dodge and evade up. Because they can hit pretty hard. Yeah, if you're brand new, it might kill you. Um, I, I haven't decided if I'm going to next island or to land after Cyrene, but when I get there, I will probably show, show the people <laughs> that it can very easily kill you. Hopefully by that time, I will have a adjusted Eggly Kring. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, I'm standing on 170 sweat on this one creature. Yeah, I'm currently... I, let me actually just check. Um... Somewhere around here. Combat should be here. So my evader is on level 11 and my dodger is level 10. gonna die Why is this thing trying to kill me, sword? <laughs>
Come on, guy, you need to start healing yourself too. Back again, sorry about that, I had to address a little something at my door quickly. Uh, gonna die and I died <laughs> Don't run away! Come on guys, come join the sweat circle. <laughs> Yes, these missiles give a lot of sweat. Thank you. 
I've got to say, this is the longest I've been here with not a lot of people showing up. Usually, just after you send messages, they start appearing out of nowhere. Maybe I'm just too early. <laughs> This thing thinks he's sneaky. He's sneaking up on us behind us. <laughs> yeah, usually when I do this, it's a bit later. <laughs> but also, it used to be way back when, when I was still playing, there used to be a sweat circle running here 24 7. It didn't matter what time of the day you come in, it's like the people are all waiting for somebody to tell them, okay, you can sweat now. Thank you, Big Industries. It's your fault. <laughs> I'm gonna die again, and it's not even funny. <laughs> Actually, Big Industries has the SSI on Arcadia, so they are here as well. And ever since they moved in, people stopped coming here for the sweat circles, and they only go there now. And that's also only when they have their events. It seems more and more people don't want to grind anymore. You have to pay them to grind, apparently. <laughs> How long have you been playing, playing the Entropia? I can actually understand that, um, but since I've come to Arcadia, do you know how many times a day you see in the ARC trade chats people offering to buy sweat at 1.2 ped, 1.3 ped? So I don't know, maybe on Calypso it's a little bit harder to sell your sweat, but here on Arcadia it's really not a problem. And also if you actually do do it the way you're supposed to, Go check on the blueprints, what blueprints uses sweat, and then contact the people that actually make use of sweat for crafting and ask them, listen, can I sell to you? Make an arrangement with them that you'll sell at a set price and you will always have a buyer. That's what I always did. <laughs> Sounds a lot like me. Can, can can you remember the days when you used to sell sweat for 2.5 pet, 2 pet per K? Oh wow, when you started it was 6 to 8 pets per K. <laughs> Damn, why didn't I start playing back then? 
When I started it was about 2.5 pit, 2 pit per K. But probably one of the... <laughs> but probably one of the best things about sweating is not the fact that you're getting sweat which you can sell whatever the price may be. The big thing is all of those skills that you're getting, your dodge and evade skills that go up. It's insane. Let's drop the messages again. Guys, can you believe that I'm still sweating the same Nusul? It's 260 sweat later and it's still going. Yeah, skills. Skills for a game based off of your skills instead of actions it really is invaluable. Especially if you're planning on being a hunter. This thing, I can't wait to kill it. Yeah, for sure. Ah, ah, I'm gonna die again. Ah. You know, sometimes I'm such a noob. This thing absolutely has to global for me. Mm. 
What else can you recommend to ghost rating? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true, but <laughs> it's really, really irritating to sweat them. I hate sweating the gallards. I would rather stand there looking pretty than, <laughs> than sweating gallards. Do you know what's idiotic? The fact that I actually... Okay, this is good. I wanted to die. I wanted to die because I forgot to buy ammo. <laughs> But I want to finish this one. I need to finish it and then kill it for all of the payback. Who's standing behind me? Ah, it's our little friend that keeps dying. What do you think of these ant teachers? Do you do you look do you like what they look like? I think they look like ant eaters. <laughs> yeah. Ah, finally. Finally, I get to kill it. Missile challenge rank increased. Claim reward. And it was like a four better. Nice. Um, what am I gonna choose? Let's go with some combat reflexes. And I got level seven in the two handed clubber profession. Yay! <laughs> okay. Let's see, five, four. Let me just heal up. Mm. 
No! Okay, guys, come on, come join. Hey, we've got a third little piggy. Almost in... Well, hey, there's only three piggies in that story, so now a wolf can come and blow us, blow all of our houses down. What's well, not that bad? Yeah, I know, that's actually pretty good compared to what they usually drop. <laughs> Yeah, the globals on them are pretty good, I've got to admit that. It's just a pity that they, they don't global that often. I mean, maybe a little bit more often than, than they do and it would have been great, but... No, and one little piggy's house was blown down. The biggest globals I've seen in on hunting was at Calypso. I have seen some pretty big globals here on Arcadia, but you don't see them as often. The majority of the times that you see a big global, it's on Calypso. And the second piggy's house was blown down. No, don't kill me. Yeah, that's true. I have to take into consideration uh, what mobs people are hunting from the life to paid ratio of the global arc is of the scale. Yeah, I do. I do understand that one. Um, and also, there's a lot more people grinding on on Calypso than there are on Arcadia.
<laughs> yeah, it is, right? <laughs> no, no, I totally agree. Calypso is a bit more hectic and Arcadia is more chill. I actually quite like it here on Arcadia. There's actually more for, for new players to do on Arcadia than there is on Calypso. I need to stand still when healing. Yeah, that's that's true. It was said, Ark is more of a grind, sadly, while Kali kicks you into it faster. That's very, very true. Um, on Calypso, it's make or break. On Arcadia, you grind forever and then maybe if you feel like it, you can go into it. <laughs> <coughs>
I should go and get my Vivo out of storage for these sweat circle things. Oops. Well, at least I'm getting good sweat out of this. What's that one doing? Oh, she needs to... One of these guns, the Gravis GLR33. I really want one of these. I'm not even maxed on it yet, but I want it. <laughs> uh. 
Hey, Zorko's here. And there we have another person joining in. Finally, some people are starting to show up. <laughs> also I <laughs> which probably should have started there <laughs> okay, what are you checking it for? Something to sell or something to use? I don't like checking my storage because I always see something that reminds me of something that I wanted to do or stuff that I wanted to buy. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Let's see, do I still have it in my inventory? Yes, I do have one. <coughs> okay. <laughs> I will at least add something. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a bit of a giveaway. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. There are quite a few people doing tailoring, so... It's always a good idea to have some of that stack to sell on auction house. <laughs> you just horn. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, I'm very bad at that. I'm very bad at hoarding in the game. In real life, not so much. <laughs> um, I end up I end up selling my stuff way before there's a good amount.
So I, I just I just thought of a pretty cool idea. I asked in the chat we would like to do something to get a free full TT Herman Arc Zero. <coughs> <laughs> and then they asked me like what would they have to do so I'm gonna think of something that they have to do and the first one that does it gets the gun what do you think about that wow. <laughs> Okay, everyone get in a line and then, well, I can see everyone, then I will say the task. <laughs> yeah, same here. I hoard until I run out of bait and then I, I don't hoard no more. Then it's time to sell. <laughs> Okay, so the first <laughs> so the first one to mimic what I'm about to do gets the There we go, there we go. And we have a winner. <laughs> okay, then second was that other one. Where's
<laughs> Be right back. Yeah, I will think of something else to do next. <laughs> so go. <laughs> this is the weirdest group that I've ever seen. <laughs> Then, so, Goma, please answer this. Who, uh, what is the three best beginners? Mobs to hunt on Arcadia. Wow, you actually gave me more than three. Please come get your brand new gun. <laughs> Stand still, dude. For the tray. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well guys, I actually think that's it gonna be that's gonna be it for me for tonight on my stream. Um, I actually have to go make something to eat and get some stuff done before the end of tonight. <clears throat> I actually hope I see you again in one of my next streams. Um, I still don't know your name. <laughs> Hopefully you'll tell me next time and for all the YouTube watchers remember to like it if you like it and good luck and have fun guys can't wait to see you guys again